writing the we are drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. We. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. Really? Let me see your palm. All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Patty. Women aren't colorblind. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any of the amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any brilliant ideas. <clears throat> Right to free speech. Hmm. Free speech? No, that'll never work. Well, I gotta go, dude. Ain't that the truth, eh? Spelt in farts. He looks oddly familiar. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Well, oh, you're very much awesome. Indeed. Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? <coughs> I'm a big fan of education. Really? How surprising. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. What? I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. He says artificial, he doesn't specifically say wood. <clears throat> Where could I get some of those? They're rather expensive. Mine were custom made for me by my good friend, Paul Revere. <laughs> Didn't he invent 3D glasses? <laughs> I believe you'll have him confused with someone else. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Doesn't that taste awful? Not if you take them out of it. Don't you have a problem with splitters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket bullets smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like... Just admiring my reflection in the window. 